Rattlers. Who is that? Our Keith Brown out of Texas A&M. Blaze back on their heels. Arizona has done just about everything now to put the Blaze uh, into a poor position. Drop back, he'll throw this one into the end zone, incomplete, falls harmlessly to the turf. They knew they were going to go after it. They did take a shot at the uh, end zone, and Mike Brown, the defensive coordinator for the Blaze, had his guys prepared. Dabble under center, he'll throw this one out to the right. make it tough on this Rattlers team. Davila's got a man in motion. He'll throw this one out to his fullback. That's big number 32. Avoiding a couple of tackles there on a big 265 pounder. Second down and about... Oh. And here's Purify. Davila will look down this way, and that's Fox again. Fox so far been more of a threat than any of these other receivers. Glenn Fox is right on, able to find his receivers with ease. That's why. On down there, and hopefully get a special team stop as he boots this one off the nets. 23 back to receive. This one goes through the uprights. It'll be a touchback down there into the fire pit. You'll see Fox. Here on the close side, that's Kerry Reed who scored the last touchdown. Purify in motion, Davila drops back, throws out his own end zone to Reed, who catches it. Al Phillips will bring him down, but after about a 13-yard gain for 73 yards and three touchdowns. And man in motion, Reed, of course, out to the left-hand side. It's a little bit of a shovel pass. Yeah. Shot block on the offense. Number 74 whistled for the penalty there. It'll be second and 20. For the Rattlers, following that penalty. Davila will take the snap, drop back, throw this one out to Fox. He's forced out by Carlton Brown on a nice hit, but not. We're here. We're going to come hit you in the mouth. Blaze defense needs to step up big here. Davila will have. Purify out wide right. Look for that big body in the end zone here. Throws this one down to Harvey. His slot man and Harvey gets down inside the five-yard line.
there. The crowd getting into it. They still believe in this Blaze team. 35-27. Davila will drop back, throw this one into the end zone. Great defensive play. And it looks like Carlton Brown, excuse me, Al Phillips on the defense there. And Al Phillips going vertical on that one to get some fantastic stops over the years here in ESA with the crowd behind him. You hear the noise, Davila. Kerry Reed drops that one in the front corner of the end zone. Illegal formation on the offense. Arizona, excuse me. They called an illegal formation on the Blaze defense. They'll repeat second down there, so that defensive stop all for naught. The good thing is it is not an automatic first down, so it still will remain second down, but they advance the ball. Inside the two-yard line, second and goal for this Rattlers team. Davila will break the huddle with big Odie Armstrong. I wouldn't be surprised to see a handoff. Motion. Motion in the offensive backfield. That'll be a false start. And the Rattlers shoot themselves in the foot with a penalty. So the Blaze defense bringing the heat just a little bit, making that uh, those Rattlers a little seem, but not before it's closed off. David Highland with another tackle. He's your leading tackler on defense. He's your leading tackler on special teams. Great coverage there on the kickoff. Doesn't even let Harvey get out to the 10-yard line. Beautiful ankle tackle by Highland. We've got flags on the play. Holding on the return team. That'll back the Rattlers up a little further. That's the crowd just returning from all the nachos. <laughs> during startup in even the most extreme conditions. As temperatures go up, keep your battery going strong with help from AutoZone. Parts are just part of what we do. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Now back to Utah Blaze football on 97.5 and 12. The 48 is your score from Energy Solutions Arena. Blaze trailing the Arizona Rattlers as this game has gotten a little bit out of hand. Down purifying and credit Nick Davila with. The Blaze could do something here in the fourth quarter. Tommy Grady will dial up Sean Cullen Amoko who dives over the dasher boards. That one is actually picked off. Cullen Amoku went head over heels over the boards before that was intercepted. Wow. to kick off and it's another onside attempt the ball's on the turf bouncing around and it looks like the rattlers are able to recover just getting close but not close enough are the utah blaze special teams
Oh, yeah. Oh, man, does he look good. About 230 pounds of muscle nowadays. Yeah. Kyle Brotsman will kick it off. One minute left to play in this game, and it's an onside kick attempt. This one bounces all over the place. Hits the... Here you go. 